Hey guys, what is up? Ronnie Bomic here, and I'm back with part 7 gameplay of Life is Strange. It had been really awesome game. I mean, I was playing it. I played six parts of this game. I'm in episode 2, and I'm really excited to see what happens next. So, without further ado, let's get into it, alright? And sorry for all my grammatical mistakes because when I, you know, try to speak English in public, behind in front of a camera or in front of a microphone I really get nervous and all these you know do, uh, dormant grammatical mistakes you know floats up on the surface of the water you know you know it comes out from nowhere and when I am speaking English in my mind it, it's really great I mean it feels like I'm, I feel like Shakespeare or something I mean I, though I don't speak in Victorian language anyway just uh, without any further gibberish Let's continue. I have a little time before Mr. Jefferson's class, so I can do some wandering. So, are you going to that Vortex Club party? Like I would miss it. I have the sweetest outfit. I end wouldn't want to be world. at an end of the world party with Nathan Prescott. Too much truth in advertising. Same missing person. Oh, a banner? With the Vortex Club. Okay. These elite assholes throw a lot of big parties. Another chance for Nathan Prescott to dose somebody. Hey, David. Excuse me, Mr. Madsen? I know things got a little heated yesterday in Chloe's room. Was that really your reefer? No, of course not. No, it belonged to a friend of mine. Are you going to bust me now, Mr. Madsen? Even I'm not that much of an asshole. And I am sorry about yesterday. I was wrong, but upset. Cannabis is not a big deal to you, but it has been to Chloe. You're a combat veteran. She's no threat to you. If I didn't care about her, I wouldn't care at all. When I was her age, I was out raising a lot more hell. She's better than that. All you kids are. So is Kate Marsh. What about Kate? What about Kate? You step between us at a pretty bad time. She's another matter entirely. Kate hasn't done anything wrong. Max, this isn't just about Kate Marsh. My concern is for the safety of all Blackwell students, including you. That'll take more than surveillance cameras. It will take more than Ms. Grant and her petition to find missing students. Isn't that your responsibility as head of security? Unless you know something about Rachel Amber that nobody else does. I don't want to fight with you anymore. I don't want to fight with anyone anymore. That's all, Max. What happens if I try to speak in my head? You best not bother chatting me up now. Okay, let's... If my tornado vision came part. true, it would be the end of the world. Oh. I still have time. I could go see Warren playing mad scientist in the Okay, hey guys. Uh, I saw just, wow. you know... Okay, wait. Where is it? Uh, okay, Warren. You know, uh, he says that I'm not no Scoringer's Kitty. And those of you who don't know about Scoringer's Kitty, let me tell you a story. Have a seat. Okay, uh, so Scoringer, uh, Irving Ar Ar Scoring... I can pronounce it properly. Okay, Arvind Schrodinger was a scientist and he was a physicist, I guess. Yeah, and uh, he, he is responsible for you know researching quantum physics uh, or quantum chemistry, whatever you want to call it, because uh, the thing you know science are uh, you know all the three subjects, physics, chemistry, maths are interconnected. So uh, I'll just call it the whole science. So he was um, responsible uh, for a quantum a lot of things that he discovered in quantum physics or quantum science and uh, one thing he said that if you um, if you put a cat in a basket all right and you have a poison 
smoke in the basket or something uh, in the basket that it uh, that would kill the cat and if you close the close the basket or close the box you don't know whether the cat is dead or not of course there is a 50 50 chance and he said that according to the laws of quantum physics the cat is dead and alive at the same time until and unless you open the box and that's awesome because there is a duality in the nature so a both probability exists and everything we see around here are based on that quantum phenomenon and the quantum world is really really cool and being a science student myself i'll i'll really suggest you that do check it out if you aren't uh, pursuing science though you you must check it out um whether you're pursuing science or not you know I'm sorry for my grammar it's really messed i really get nervous and stuff Sorry to score some weed from Nathan. You have to talk to me, Kate. Why? Let's speak. Yo, Maxwell Smart. Talk later, cool? So you can't help me? I'm trying. But you have to understand my position. Why? You don't understand. <laughs> Off this martyr crap. What do you want from me? I want you to be honest. Nobody believes me anyway. Stop acting so brittle. Being on a viral video does that. Maybe this is your way of getting attention. That's really mean, Mr. Jefferson. You just don't get it. Just leave me alone. You have to talk to me, Kate. Why? It's all over, like me. Knock you... off this martyr crap. So you can't help me. I'm trying. But you have to understand my position. You got to talk to me kid. You got to show me your viral video. Kid, I want to see that. Anyway. So maybe he saw that? That's bad. Sorry to bother you, Mr. Jefferson. I'm only bothered when you avoid turning in photos. But you know this. So what can I do for you, Max? Just between you and me? I'm worried about Kate Marsh. That's no secret. Word on the street is that you and Kate had a little confrontation with our security chief yesterday. Don't want to Not get exactly. into legal trouble. Never mind. Sorry. I have to go and work on my photo. But you can talk to me anytime. And Max, can I talk to you about Kate? I assume you know about this viral video. Everybody knows, yeah, of course. Everybody knows. That's why I wanted to see you. Kate is being humiliated daily. What if Kate brought this on herself? She means well, but maybe she doth protest too much. She seems like she's holding back the truth. Have you talked to her? Yes. Yes, I've talked to her this morning. She needs friends and support now. I just don't want Kate Marsh to become the next Rachel Amber. Rachel Amber? What does she have to do with Kate? With all her missing persons posters around, it's hard not to think of her. I miss Rachel too. But think about yourself, Max. Principal Wells told me about what you said happened in the bathroom. That was private. Of course. That was a private conversation. Not that I wouldn't tell you. This is a serious accusation, Max. So you don't believe me? I would never make something like this up. I hope so, Max. But it's easy to point fingers. If Mr. Madsen claims you might be a pot dealer as he did, should I believe him? Listen, should I Excuse me, Max. Hello. Yes. Um, hold on. I have to take this. So just go into class and I'll be there soon. A pot dealer? What? You know, I think my choices have maybe have backfired. Uh -huh. Let's see what he's talking about. Sure. Okay. Listen, listen to the... I do have a class I have to teach. I have to go. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm okay. I'll do that. And let's go. Okay. I know. That makes sense. Tell that town. Maybe beautiful Hayden. Thug. Thug. Pictures. I saw it earlier. You are out of control. Turn left. It's really gloomy outside today. Show me the love. What's up, Daniel? Look, Waiting to drop Dana like after us. Hayden gets his paparazzi on. Let's see what he's drawing. That's a great sketch of Dana. Daniel is the real deal. 
I don't think that's a great sketch at all. No time to talk, Max. Posing in progress. Dana is ready for her 15 minutes of fame. Last time I came here, only uh, girls were there. Now there's guys. I'm kind of doing something now, Max. You don't take a photograph in front of a class. I mean, you should go and find some cool background and stuff. Max will be pissed we're sitting at her desk. Oh, I'm yes, sure she'll no. report us to the principal. Like I give. Better be quiet, Victoria. We have a master snitch and liar here. And paparazzi. I want that photo whore or I get nasty. Too late. Oh, burn. Max is so fearless when she has backup. Right. Can I sit at my table now? Don't get cocky. This isn't over. In fact, shit's just starting, Max. Assholes. That's it. Okay, why is David taking photos of Kate? Now this is so wrong and weird. Um, can I get up? I cannot get up. Okay, Warren is coming here. Hey, what's up? What up, Max? Hey, Warren. I saw Kate earlier and her eyes were puffy from crying. Kate has a lot on her plate. I didn't know what to say, and she, she didn't tell me anything. Okay, I know you love me, but if you're not in this class, beat it. Everybody else, please sit down. We have a lot to cover today, and so little time as usual. I see all the usual suspects here. Anybody seen Kate Marsh? I think everybody has seen Kate Marsh by now. <laughs> She's not feeling good. Sounds like you're giggling about a video gone viral. Maybe it involves a student? What? What is it? We're a friend? I wonder how- It's cool that Mr. Jefferson published his own little book of photo tips. You'll have false wow. images of yourself shot out all over the world for people to judge. No smartphones in class, Max. Put that away. <laughs> I'm gonna see it anyway. Okay, mom. Hey honey, I hope you didn't forget to water the plant we gave you down. Okay. Back. You know, what was the private number? Uh, well, what is this? It's Nathan's father. Okay. Usually, people need something to judge, so they never take a good look at themselves. We can thank reality TV for some of that. In the end, we can only blame ourselves for participating. Speaking of participation, there are a few souls here who have yet to enter a photo in the contest. Like Max Caulfield, for example, who I know can't wait to enter, right? I'm sure you read the syllabus like it was a Harry Potter book, so you must know today we're studying chiaroscuro. That beautiful word about the contrast between light and dark. The shadow play that gives photography such visual power. It's basic yin and yang. I guess Kate will miss class now. Are effective precisely because I'm worried about her. Contrast. Although we don't technically see in my- Yo! Some crazy shit is going down at the girl's door! Zachary, do not come into my class like that ever again. Listen, everybody remain seated. What? Dismissed. What is happening? No. I didn't think she was that messed up. What is happening? Did she commit suicide or something? That that can't be happening. No, Kate, don't do that. What is that up there? Kate! No. no! She can't die. She can't. Okay. <gasps> Not again. Not now. I have to try something. I won't be able to rewind again and again. Wow. 
did she just freeze time? Keep going, Max. You can do it. Let's go. My god, this is awesome. Hey, bird. Move, move, bird. What? Okay, let's take this way. Don't worry, Kate. I'm coming for you. I'll give my life for you. I'll save you. It can't be happening. I'll save you. Did she just freeze time? I don't understand. That's a new power. Yes. Maybe when she's to do this by myself? Max, seriously, don't come near me. I will jump. Okay, okay. I'm right here. Kate, please. Oh, Max, I know you want to help me. I love that you stepped up to David, but it doesn't matter now. Nothing matters. You matter, not just... Get Don't boss. worry, Kate. Things will get better. I promise. I do want to believe that. Kate, your life is still yours. And we can get through this together. Let me help. You are such a liar. You wanted to help by ignoring my phone call? Um... I was in silent mode, yeah. I swear, it was in silent mode, and I didn't see it. Or I totally would have answered. I needed you to answer, Max. Everybody thinks I'm a viral slut now. Well, that is there true, is actually, no but... There's only your friends and your family who love you. Kate, please trust me. Come stand by me, okay? I can help you now. I know I can. This morning, I erased the web link to the video. It was written on the shower room mirror. That's your story now. How can I trust you? What about this morning when I needed help? You told me to do nothing. Um, okay. Kate, I'm gathering proof that Nathan Prescott drugged you. And you're not the only victim. So you have to help me take Nathan down. Nathan Prescott? That makes sense. He's a scumbag. You have proof now? Soon, then straight to the police. Think of it like we're cleansing Blackwell. You do have my back, Max. That's the first time I've felt hopeful in a week. Good. We all need to have each other's backs. So I want you to come with me now. Please. You don't have to do this. Max, I'm in a nightmare and I can't wake up. Uh, unless I put myself to sleep. Then everybody at Blackwell can post pics of my body. I'm already on the internet forever. No wonder they call it a web. Nothing can ever get out. Like my video. I wish I could go back in time and erase everything. Be strong. Kate, this is our chance to beat the bullies. That's the only way we can win against them. Can we really, Max? I don't believe in miracles anymore either. Now I do. You're part of the reason why. If you come down with me, I can tell you more. You're such a good person, Max. Even if you're full of crap. But I'll come with you. Yay! You're my friend. Forever. Can we hug on it? No. Nobody cares about me. Nobody. Yeah, I do. sisters? You told me about your sisters, especially the youngest one. What's her name? That's Lynn. 
She's only 10. She does have the best smile ever. I would hate to see her sad. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. What are you talking about? You saved me from talking in class. Suicide is just a temp permanent solution to a temporary problem. I, I, I never supported it. I now, I know of today was bad. difficult for everybody. All right, that's bad. But I'm so proud of the way Blackwell pulled together to save a young girl's life. Yeah, I did it. I mean, of course, yeah, what's Nathan, quite Nathan the hero from getting Kate to come down, Max. I didn't do much. She's modest. Like a real hero. Yeah, real hero. As principal of Blackwell Academy, I take my duties seriously. I take the well-being of every student more seriously. What happened today should never happen in a hall of wisdom and knowledge. Yes. Mr. Madsen, as our head of security here, those roof doors should always be locked. That's just standard operating procedure. They were not, and that is indeed your responsibility. Mr. Jefferson, I know you can't be expected to know what your students are going through, but Kate has assisted you in class, so you should have known something was amiss. Mr. Prescott, since you are responsible for the Vortex Club parties, and since Miss Marsh did attend your last party, you'll have to answer some more questions. Yeah, let's go. Miss Caulfield, why exactly were you on the route with Kate Marsh? Does she tell you her plan? Or anything at all? Please, tell us everything. Um... Uh, I don't know. I'll blame, blame Nathan, of course. All I know is that Kate was at a party and Nathan dosed her. She got wasted and kissed some boys on a viral video without a clue. I dosed her <laughs> without a clue. Have you seen the video? Whatever. Kate was loaded and You're playing a liar. the field. You told Kate you took her to the emergency room. I said I was going to take her to the ER. She sobered up eventually. Bullshit. Something happened to her and you know it. How about we talk about you waving a gun in the girl's hey, bathroom? that's total slander. I could sue you and this school so fast. I already have a personal lawyer. Careful, Mr. Prescott. I have been told of this alleged gun incident, and I have to admit that the video in question was sent to me by multiple sources. Including me. And since Mr. Prescott does appear prominently in the video and was responsible for the party, I have no choice but to suspend him until further notice. Whatever. See you in court. Excuse me. I think Max and Nathan need a break before we grill them further. A friend and student just tried to kill herself. They don't need this forum right now. Yes, I'm kind of devastated right now. I'd like to be with my family. All right, Miss Caulfield, please sign here to confirm what you've told us. I'll continue this investigation from there. My head is killing me, but I think I can use my power again. Okay, let's go. I just hate Nathan. I don't know why. Well, I think we know less now than when we started. Jefferson we'll be and David assisting good. the police with further inquiries. I know this has been a stressful day. I wish I had the power to change it all for the better. So thank you for coming in. What now? Everything changed so fast. What was happening? It was literally slow motion as I grabbed her hand. And then I could feel her grabbing mine. Max, that was the greatest thing I've ever seen. Ever! You reached out, she reached out, hugs, tears, applause, like a superhero. Not quite. 
Look at me. Next I mean, man. Yes, you're glowing. Seriously, a human halo. I'm pretty sure you earned your wings today. I'm still worried about Kate. She did try to kill herself. <laughs> All over a video. Viral is the right word. Like a disease. So you watched it? Just one. And a half times. Warren, I don't mean to sound weird, but there's something ominous going on at Blackwell. Today proves that. And I'm working on proof that Kate Marsh is connected to Rachel Amber. Somehow. Along with Nathan and Mr. Madsen. I'm not a big conspiracy guy, but I wouldn't doubt it. Nathan did scare me yesterday, and Madsen is a straight-up dickhead. So, what do you think is really happening? What the hell is this? The weather confirms this weird day. I feel that chill. Max, there was no eclipse, eclipse scheduled today. I would eclipse? know. Eclipse? I would. What? Well, what? I believe you, Warren. I'll believe anything this week. This is so beautiful. Wow, this was great. I mean, this is the end of episode 2, out of time. And I guess I have to end the video here. But I learned a lot and this, the, the, the story is getting really, really exciting. A lot of new things is coming in. A lot of, a lot of new characters, a lot of new plot. It's getting so emotional, getting so serious. So... <laughs> really moved anyway so let's uh, let's stop the video here 
I will uh, continue the gameplay in the next part, alright? So if you haven't subscribed to me already, then hit the subscribe button, the big red button, and like this video if you really like the content I post, alright? And I guess I'll see you guys next time, okay? Let's go, see you guys in episode 3 of Life is Strange. I'm Ronit Bomic. See you guys next time again. I, I, I'm, how many times I'll I'll say the same thing? Okay, I'm just okay, I'm just I'm just gonna stop the video now. I'm sorry. Let's go.